puppetry is unique because it's pretend, it's imagination, it's art, it's craft, it's uh, history. Puppets cover many of the arts. Painting is fine art. Coming up with a puppet show is literature, writing. Puppets are versatile actors, so you cover many of the arts with puppetry. Oh, hello. Oh, hello. Oh, my goodness. The Puppetry Arts Institute is actually an offshoot of the Kansas City Puppetry Guild and went completely out of business. They gave all the remnant stock to Goodwill. Nobody needed 5,000 two-inch green plastic clown shoes. But Diane Houck, our founding director, said we'll take these and turn it into a puppetry center. She traveled all over. And so she was in countries like Sri Lanka and China, Vietnam, or you can tell Nepal. Every time she went there, she got a marionette or a puppet that represented that country, sometimes more than one. And so she kept those in storage until she and her husband were able to come back to the States. But today, if you can look around here, you'll see a, a plethora of just really interesting uh, character puppets. In here, we have a gift shop, we have a library, we have all different kinds of puppets. You can come make a puppet, puppets like this that are hand puppets, string puppets, which are called marionettes. We have shadow puppet shows. We cover a lot of bases. We offer a lot of neat things here at the Puppetry Arts Institute. We have a season of puppet shows on Saturdays throughout the year. We do the puppet painting workshops. You know, we're talking about 1,000 kindergartners in the Independent School District get to paint puppets and have their own opportunity to be puppeteers, little puppeteers. And then we also do have what we call grown-up shows occasionally. We had one lady who was celebrating her 90th birthday, and she insisted that her family come here. And there were 35 people, and they all painted puppets. Other people that come and are really interested in puppetry and want to learn more about how to be a good puppeteer, be able to help some people, come up with ideas, come up with their own shows. I perform about four shows a year. This year I'll be doing Jack and the Beanstalk. He's the giant, and I'm a good giant too, so come see me. <laughs> this is a hand puppet. Now I know you. You are a puppet, right? And this is a real nice hand puppet. His name's Delbert. I use him on my Christmas show a lot. These are all marionettes, which are puppets on strings. And each one of the strings, you pull them and, and it makes their hands or arms or legs move. These are smaller ones. This is a Harry Truman marionette. You pull the different strings, and it's kind of like a piano. The character comes alive in what I call suspended animation. These are marionettes. As an artist, I try to give my best performance each time and make each person feel like they are the center of the universe as I emote with puppetivity. That's a word I just made up. We're a small nonprofit arts organization, and so we're always, although we're very efficient, <laughs> We can always use donations that helps keep the lights on and pay the water bill. And then we need volunteers. I hope people take away the fact that puppetry can be fun individually and as families. Come to the Puppetry Arts Institute and see amazing creatures like myself. We're all dedicated to promoting and preserving puppetry. There's lots of ways puppetry can be exciting and interesting and different.